We are the Alberta Energy Regulator. Alberta's single regulator for oil, oil sands, natural gas and coal development. Built on over 75 years of regulatory tradition, our priority is to ensure the safe, efficient, orderly and environmentally responsible development of our energy resources, while providing economic benefits for all Albertans. Alberta produces about 1 billion barrels of oil and 3.5 trillion cubic feet of natural gas each year, about 75% of Canada's total production. What isn't consumed here is shipped across North America through pipelines, a safe, efficient and highly regulated method of transporting oil, gas and other liquids. Canada's pipeline network extends over 700,000 kilometres. Pipelines that cross provincial or international boundaries are regulated by the National Energy Board. Here in Alberta, more than half, over 400,000 kilometres, are regulated by the Alberta Energy Regulator, or the AER. Since it was first established more than 75 years ago, Alberta's Energy Regulator has continued to adapt and change with advances in technology, new industry activity and changing social expectations. The Alberta Energy Regulator is here for the orderly development of our resources. We insist on public safety, environmental protection, and that the resource be developed properly. The Alberta Energy Regulator accomplishes this through our robust regulatory framework. The first step is a comprehensive application process before construction begins. Alberta's Pipeline Act and Pipeline Regulation specify the technical requirements to be met before a license can be issued. A pipeline application must meet all of the Alberta Energy Regulator's comprehensive and rigorous legislative requirements. So, it can take several days for routine applications and several months for applications that have technical and public involvement issues before approval is granted. The company must demonstrate it can meet our strict technical, safety and environmental standards before construction can begin. Our rules incorporate the Canadian Standard Association requirements, which are technical requirements for the design, construction, operation and maintenance of pipelines in Canada and are the primary requirements for pipelines in Alberta. As you know, we regulate upstream oil and gas in Alberta. That's how they determine it. An important part of the Alberta Energy Regulator's application process is that companies consult with landowners early on. This ensures that all concerns are effectively addressed and any questions are answered. The consultation process is extensive and companies must demonstrate that they have made every effort to address outstanding concerns. In situations where unresolved issues or conflicts exist, we offer mediation through our appropriate dispute resolution program. That sounds like that would work. And you're both going to have an opportunity to talk about the project and you're going to be, have an opportunity to talk about what your issues are. And then I'll If concerns still exist, a formal public hearing may be held. Alberta Energy Regulator hearings are formal proceedings in which a panel of hearing commissioners hears evidence and makes a ruling on whether a proposed license should be approved. The Alberta Energy Regulator hearing process is conducted much like a court proceeding. Parties are generally represented by lawyers and they present evidence to support their positions. An Alberta Energy Regulator panel of hearing commissioners is assigned to review the evidence and determine whether the application should be denied, approved, or approved with conditions to address the concerns of the parties. By and large, the industry works very hard to be in compliance. It's a very complex industry, it's a very complex set of rules and requirements, and the industry works very diligently to try and be in compliance with the Alberta Energy Regulator. Nations from all over the world come to see the Alberta Energy Regulator every year. They come to see how we look at public safety, how we manage environmental protection, how we develop energy resource conservation. We are one of the best energy regulators in the world and there is no doubt about that. Every year the Alberta Energy Regulator conducts more than 1,400 pipeline inspections, which includes some 300 construction inspections. 
When pipelines pass through or near populated areas, roads, railways, or water bodies, the requirements become even more stringent. They include using thicker walled pipe, being buried at greater depths, and increasing inspection and surveillance. Once the pipeline is in place, companies must remain in compliance with a variety of regulations that protect public safety and the environment. Our field inspectors work all over the province. They conduct inspections on many energy facilities, including pipelines. The goal is compliance with all of Alberta's rules and requirements. We conduct our inspections using a three-part system. We do baseline inspections, random inspections, and we use a system called OSI. OSI helps us to determine the frequency of facility inspections. O stands for Operator History, the company's history of complying with the Alberta Energy Regulator requirements. If an operator has a poor track record, we will inspect its facilities with greater frequency. S represents Site Sensitivity. This is where we take into account the location of the facility. If it is located near a heavily populated area or a wetland, it becomes an inspection priority. I refers to inherent risk, where we consider the nature of the resource being extracted or transported. For example, high vapor pressure fluids such as propane or ethane would warrant more frequent inspections. Companies work diligently to be in compliance. We will work with them to ensure they are in compliance. If they don't, we will put detailed operating plans in place. If that fails, we can go as far as shutting in a pipeline. We are world leaders in energy industry innovation groundwater monitoring, emergency response, air and soil sampling, resource conservation, all those things give the energy industry confidence and the public confidence that we can operate safely. Operating a pipeline requires continuous monitoring and maintenance. That is why the Alberta Energy Regulator requires companies to develop and implement integrity management programs. These programs identify, manage, monitor and address any potential hazards associated with each individual pipeline. Companies consider everything from the type of product they are transporting to the route the pipeline follows. Surface developments and other factors are also important. Pipeline companies have extensive maintenance and repair programs. For transmission lines, they operate sophisticated command centers with leak detection systems to monitor the flowing liquid hydrocarbons. These control rooms operate around the clock and provide real-time monitoring of how the transmission pipeline is performing. Sudden changes in pressure or other system alerts prompt the operator to determine if the pipeline is experiencing a problem. All pipeline incidents must be reported to the Alberta Energy Regulator, regardless of whether it results in a leak or not. Emergency response plays a huge role in pipeline planning. The Alberta Energy Regulator requires companies to have comprehensive emergency response plans they would activate should a pipeline failure occur. These ERPs identify all roles and responsibilities and how the company will work with government agencies. The prompt coordination of emergency responders and resources is crucial to protect lives and limit damage to property or the environment. Companies have an obligation to be able to respond. If they're incapable of responding, unable to respond, the Alberta Energy Regulator has the staff, the capacity and the knowledge to be able to step in to manage an incident. If we have to, we will shut in a pipeline. In case of an incident, monitoring air quality is critical. The Alberta Energy Regulator has two mobile air monitoring units, which are in effect air monitoring laboratories. We're on call 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Our air monitoring units go out in the field and monitor for things like hydrogen sulfide, sulfur dioxide. They're very important pieces of equipment. We use our air monitoring units two different ways. First, for baseline inspection work, but more importantly for critical emergency response. Pipelines play an important role in moving Alberta's hydrocarbon resources from the wellhead to markets across North America and beyond. Our highly trained staff ensures that public safety and environmental stewardship are maintained in all areas of energy-related development, including pipelines. 
I'm most proud of the Alberta Energy Regulator's technical innovation, groundwater protection, air monitoring, resource conservation. Alberta is a beautiful, beautiful province. We believe we've done a good job of protecting it and we will continue to protect it.